Hey guys, it's Mike here and welcome to Autovlog. In today's video, I actually have my significant other. It's Heather. You, If you've been following the channel for a little while here, you might have seen bits and pieces of her real quick. And that's, I'm talking seconds, because she's been in uh, one video in this truck here when we went down to Florida and we did a owner's review of the truck. And she's been in the video where we actually did a road trip around the whole country. So in this uh, video today, we're actually going to talk about seven features that every woman, and we've thought about this, every woman needs this in their vehicle. We're sitting in a truck today. It doesn't really uh, pertain to just having a truck, but it pertains to just any car that a woman has. And uh, Well, now I'm a little... I'm a little different because I just told Mike earlier, I feel like I'm more of a tomboy. So some of the things that I might like, others may not. However, I think in general, the ones that we're going to cover, it's pretty universal with women. Yeah, it pertains to any car, but it you know, pertains to what women want and features that they have in their car. So here is number one. So number one is the remote start for a vehicle. Absolutely have to have for women, especially those of us that live in the northern states, any states that are colder or throughout the world. I remember a time lots of years ago when there wasn't such a thing. Uh, we And if you can't park in a garage, I mean, you have no other choice but to just scrape and scrape and scrape and then you end up cussing and it's cold and it's just a mess. <laughs> so when the remote start came out, it was just a... You know, it was a godsend for women. So I think that that's absolutely a must-have for us. You know, if it's, it's especially if it's an option, which it is for most vehicles nowadays, I would say, the modern ones, that, you know, that's one of the very, that's one of the most important things that we want to have, I would say, hands down. If you live in a cold state, even if you don't, if it gets a little bit cold, we want the remote start. Also, I lived in Florida for a number of years and I still visit there frequently. And one of the um, really good things about having a remote uh, start is for the cooling too. Um, so, you know, if you're at the beach and it's really, really hot, wherever you are for the day, if it's just a really hot place, you have the remote start, you can have it set on the cooling settings. And by the time you get in the car, it's nice and cool. You're not sweating. Your makeup isn't melting off. You know, you're ready for work, all those things. So it's good for heating up the car preventing having to have to you know scrape off all of the ice and snow and to have it nice and cool you know especially if you, it's on a work day and um, you want to maintain you know that fresh look so this number two second most important feature I mean I don't know if we should put these in any order but for me number two would be the backup camera um, you know women drivers we always kind of catch a lot of slack from these guys about how horrible we are but I disagree with that However, I do appreciate the backup camera, especially because I'm in a big vehicle and you really can begin to rely on that. It takes a little bit of time to adjust to that because you're just so used to, all, to using your mirrors and turning around and sort of just, you know, doubting yourself. But it's really, really a good feature because it's safe. It can um, detect how close you are to other things behind you. So absolutely the backup camera. And as moms, you know, we want the most safety as possible. So backup camera is number two for me. And yeah, absolutely. And I think that goes for men as well. I mean, a lot of men will say, uh, I mean, I work in the car business as a lot of people of you, uh, a lot of you know, and uh, I deal with a lot of different type of men, you know, they're my age, they're younger, and then they're older, a lot of truck guys. You know, they'll say like, I don't need no backup camera. I've, you know, I have the mirrors. That's <laughs> what they're for. And uh, all that. No directions. I mean, th that's what it's like. But when you get to uh, know your backup camera. If you, your first car that you have that has a backup camera, you know, whenever you start getting used to that feature, you will never ever live without it. That is, yeah, you know, a, a plus for whether it's a man or a woman. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. it, you become so um, used to it and it's just, once you become used to it and you trust it, it's one of those things you'd never go back to not having one. You just always would have to have one going forward after that. Do you yep, agree with that? Yep, it's a great supplemental feature. Yep. So number three. Number three is um, vanity mirrors, but not just vanity mirrors, vanity mirrors with lights. So I would say most vehicles have vanity mirrors, maybe not all, but after I purchased this truck, I realized they don't have lights. You can get the aftermarket ones, you can get ones that other stores that you can add here but just it just doesn't work out for me that way but anyway 
Um, lights in the vanity mirrors are really, really important for us, especially for work days and just for days where we're heading out somewhere and we've already like done our makeup and hair and things like that. Any days really. We want to, women want to make sure that we look okay. So, um, and if it's nighttime or even if it's getting dark outside, um, raining and just the lighting's not bad, if you're using a mirror that doesn't have a light, it just becomes a pain in the ass. I mean, basically with this truck right here is that the XLT trim level of the Ford F-150 doesn't have the uh, vanity mirrors with a light. They have the actual mirror, but they don't no have light. the light. So you actually have to step up to a Lariat, with, which is, I mean, it's stupid. You have to pay a thousands extra just to get a light in the vanity mirror. But, you know, I mean, the mirror still works, obviously. It's just one little kink there where she doesn't have the actual light in the vanity mirror. But Yep. It is one of the most important features for you women, isn't it? Mm, I've adjusted and I've gotten over it, but <laughs> for the next upgrade, it will have to have lights in the mirrors. Yep. Okay, number four is the automatic transmission. So when I first got my license and my first three vehicles were all standards and I, and I love them. You know, I lived in Florida at the time, but I wasn't, I was, in, I was a student and I wasn't having to go to work every single day. And that was just one of the things that we thought was cool. And most of the kids my age at the time had them. But nowadays as a mom, you know, having my own business, driving to work every day, I travel a lot. The last thing I want to have to do is constantly shift gears. It's just a pain, especially in Pittsburgh because we have a lot of hills and valleys. So there are many a times where we're going to be at a light, you know, uphill. And for women in general, personally, I think I drive a standard or a stick shift decently, in a, but most don't. So um, we like the automatic transmission. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. I mean, uh... When you have women come in and buy cars from you, don't they mostly want the yeah, automatic? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, most men that buy cars from me want to buy an automatic as well. And I mean, <laughs> this is a <laughs> this is a completely separate video in itself. But what I, I mean, a lot, again, as a lot of you know, is I'm from Sweden, and in my country, you I mean, you can't even get a license without learning how to drive on a manual. Mm -hmm. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I mean, I prefer an automatic as well because in yeah. everyday life, uh, if you get stuck in traffic on your way to work, you know, home from work, whatever it is, whatever you're doing, who wants a manual? No one wants a manual. If you're stuck in traffic and no. you're doing the creep driving, you don't want a manual. Nope. Of course I want an automatic. Nowadays, automatics are so good. You don't lose uh, fuel economy. Um, they're not, you know, horrible you know, shifting in the transmission like they were back in the day. So absolutely. And automatic. it depends on where you live. If you live in a place like this where you're going to be parked at a light, you know, on an, with an uphill grade, you're definitely not going to want to, if, if you're not really skilled, even if you are have a manual. Yep. I agree. Gear, was it gearhead? Gear yeah. something? Gearhead. These people you were talking about there. Oh, those are gearheads. Yeah. That was it. <laughs> Gearhead. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> true gearheads, they want manuals. But, you know, I mean, that's just the typical guy thing. You know, they want okay. manuals because yeah. most guys don't even know how to drive a manual. Well, I'm not a gearhead, but if I had, you know, if I had my third car yeah, but and I wanted a, a performance it, car, I would want that. But if you look at it, it, it a bit of it is like it, if you're driving a manual, that's kind of, that's intimate driving. That's what it is because you control the shifting more. But on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis... No, it's an automatic. Okay. All right. Automatic transmissions, number four. Mm -hmm. So number five for me, I think, would be um, safety. You would think that would be number one, but, yeah, I mean, it's number one. I'm a mom. But, you know, safety is, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a loaded word. I mean, there's a lot of things that fall under that umbrella. So um, I like the fact that this truck is really big. You're sitting up high. Most women these days really like SUVs. You know, they like cars. But you know, Mike just told me earlier that one of the um, things they like the most, uh, a lot of the cars that they look at when they come in um, to purchase vehicles, one of the first things they look at is the um, SUV. And I had an SUV before this, and a lot of my friends have SUVs. So many women that I know. And I think that what it is is, I was even saying to him, I said, you know, it's not quite a truck. You know because that's kind of maybe more manly even though I'm driving a truck I like that 
but I think they feel safe. It's big, it's heavy, has a lot of torque. Yep. Um, if they have children, which most of us do, it depends on the demographic. Even the ones that are younger that don't still love the SUV, especially in this area or areas where you have to drive in the snow. Um, and there's a lot of room. The other thing too is we have a lot of, um, you know, we can sit up really high, we can see everything, we sort of feel like we're a little more in control. I like a car too, you know. Um, I had a BMW for years, I had a 300ZX, but I still, um, if I had to choose one vehicle, it would be, you know, a truck or an SUV because of the safety and just, um, you know, the perspective where you are, you're sitting up high, um, you don't feel so vulnerable around the big semis and other trucks and things. And you know, we like that, we like that safety feature. So number six would be um, space, storage. Uh, women like a lot of space. We like a nice big glove box. We have a lot of papers. We have a lot of junk, okay? Give us a purse the size of Texas, we'll fill the whole thing. You saw a clip earlier of my junk. And I'm a pretty organized, neat person, but <laughs> I am. Okay, no, I am. I clean up after his ass all the time. Hun, I am. Okay, you are, whatever, whatever you say. That's gonna be edited. <laughs> You're not gonna be laughing and saying that. Yes, anyway, okay. I have a six year old, okay? We need a lot of space. So whether it's a truck, whether it's an SUV, I personally like the truck. I've said for years, my next vehicle is gonna be a truck because I like the bed. For instance, today we have to get a piece of um, plywood for the bed. I carry a lot of um, shrubbery in the summertime. It, when I go to the beach, which is a lot, I have ch sand all over my chairs. I just need the bed a lot versus, you know, if I had an SUV, there would be stuff all in the car. So a lot of people can relate to that. I've always said that if you have two cars in the family, you should, one of them should at least be a truck. If only one, it should be a truck. Um, but a lot of people disagree. If not, at least an SUV because you know you have a nice, um, and if it's not, you have to get a, women like a car with a big truck, you know, whether we're carrying strollers, groceries, groceries, and just from shopping, whatever else, whatever we need, we just need, you know, a lot of storage. I have a nice big console here. I have a good um, glove box. I have some more storage under the seats, and then I've got the, the bed in the truck. And mm -hmm. the back seat has a lot of room, a lot more room than I thought. And this is... A um, super cab. Yeah. So if you had a crew extended. cab, I mean, it, it's, it's like you have a living room back there. But yes, and I was surprised when I got this truck, when you showed it to me, I thought that the back seat would be a little bit closer to the front seat, that there mm -hmm. would be less leg room. And it's not. It's just like a car. There's plenty of room back there. So space and yep. um, storage. I really like that, especially this middle console. Yep. And it's just, you know, it's it's um, convenient and comfy because, you know, we can both rest our arms on here. How many times do you get in a car and you're, like, fighting for elbow room mm -hmm. with somebody? So that doesn't occur when you have something this big, so that's good. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, uh, I, I work in the automotive uh, sales industry, so I have a lot of women, uh, you know, customers of mine who most of the time they, they want an SUV. Uh, not many times do they want a truck you know they come in if their husband wants it you know she's very different and I like that uh, but they definitely want an SUV that has a lot of room whether it's for you know their kids or just for you know loading groceries and that kind of thing so that is very true and uh, in our case here we have a truck and you can't find a vehicle that has better room than a truck I mean there's tons of cubbies all over the place and just room to put random crap. And, and I'll just speak for women. You know, I have a uh, a small. I call it the um, the shuttle, and then I have the um, mothership Louis Vuitton purse. It's huge. And then my little one. It. I mean, it's small. It doesn't matter for women. Whatever space you give us, we're gonna fill it up. <laughs> so. <laughs> It wouldn't matter if this whole half side of the truck was storage, it would be filled for mine. So we want a lot of space mm -hmm. just to fill it up with more junk. And number seven is the stereo system. I think most of us, I'm, I'm going to vouch for most of us, even like the older ones, you know, they want to hear whatever jams they're listening to from 1950s, 60s, whatever. But we like a good stereo system. It takes our minds off of all the stuff we have to worry about, which you guys haven't done 
around the house and things like that. Okay. <laughs>